Hey, Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for May 13th to 20th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. Seven of Swords and Justice. All right, Libra, you better hang on, baby, because sources like I'm revealing the truth about a particular person, an Aries or a Capricorn here. And uh, you're going to you're going to find out Ace. Of, damn, there are so many swords in this reading. Okay. Good thing is you're here. I like this because what this is telling me is that whatever has been worrying you, whatever has been creating a certain heaviness, a certain um, agonizing, um, overactive mind, overanalysis, paralysis, sleepless nights, like all that stuff, Libra, is finally going to get cleared up. There's going to be a path forward. There's going to be clarity. There's going to be some form of peace here. And um, there's going to be an opportunity here to move forward, which is really nice. I think that there is going to be a revelation of sorts. I think that you are going to have to really tune into your intuition. you got children of the cosmos or child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Yeah. I think you're really going to have to tune in here and ask yourself, um, you know, what do you really want Libra? You will be victorious. You got Victoria as well as your amulet. I love that for you with justice showing up and you being the justice card in tarot. To me, things are going to go in your favor and this is going to offer you a lot more freedom here. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness, but that's exactly what you got to do. You got to create your own happiness, Libra. You can't expect somebody else to do it for you. With the seven of swords, justice and the nine of swords, source is trying to show you the path forward, the path of uh, potentially least resistance or the path towards justice, the path towards clarity and freedom in your life. But this means you're going to have to strike not only when the iron's hot, but you're going to have to have almost a iron fist as you're doing this because the sword is all about clarity. It's all about cutting through the BS. It's all about getting clear and getting intentional. Um, and, and beside the emperor here, it's like sharp words are being said, uh, lots of action here happening. A lot of like intellectual movement, a lot of mercurial energy, cerebral energy, a lot of conversations, a lot of discussions, and you're going to have to just put your foot down to be quite honest, Libra. You're going to have to turn around and be like, this is how it's going to be. Knight of Swords is really fast moving action that like wants to get the heck out of there. And the Magician card is all like so fast. It just wants to like bloop. And then the magician is manifesting your reality, right? Co-creating with the universe. Your words are going to be very powerful this week, Libra. So I would encourage you to really focus on how you can integrate, especially because you got um, sextile here, how you can integrate or find new ways of using your words to inspire and also um, to help you with attracting what you desire, right? With this integration, with this sextile energy, what I'm seeing here is learning how to create harmony, but also not bending over backwards for somebody who is not deserving of you. So it's like, it's like a double-edged sword. It's a two-way street where you got to be like, this is what I want. This is what it looks like. I'm bringing it to you very peacefully, but also very assertively. No more like mincing your words, no more keeping it quiet, no more, um, you know, holding it in, no more trying to maintain the peace, release your ex, deception. Those cards keep showing up release your ex. Okay. Like again, right. So this is like big energy here about you understanding that, um, there comes a point in your life where you need to ask yourself if you are keeping the peace and the harmony for other people or for yourself. And if you are willing here to really stand in your truth, to stand in your power and cultivate that freedom, that fulfillment that you are seeking in your life, this could have to be with somebody who owes you money. Okay. Um, yeah. Or somebody who, um, has really created a lot of, uh, financial obstacles or adversity in your life 
Um, this could also be like a job, a position, a role here, somebody who is not um, honoring their commitment to you financially, or somebody here who is um, unwilling um, to give you the raise that you deserve. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like the emperor justice could also indicate here, there's a legal thing going on. Maybe there's some, uh, I don't know, legal battle, I don't know, court, like something like that, arbitration, mediation. Um, and you're now finally having to just not let the fear of this, you know, court or arbitration mediation, this, this legal thing or this contract, um, get the best of you, but rather turn around and say like, this is what I want. This is what it's going to look like. Negotiate, right? Like really tune into those negotiating skills. Let's dive into your love reading and see what's going on in love. Look, the devil and you deserve love and 10 of swords. Like, look at these cards. Every card, like these cards are just flipping religious factors and the chariot. Yeah, you got to take control of the situation. For some of you, I'm not sure if you're getting divorced, finalizing some divorce papers or a contract, a mediation, something here, but you got to shut down this, this, um, this cord that attaches both of you three of swords and heart to heart conversations the empress here the high priestess oh my god the king of wands this is like a third party situation this could be you finally like finalizing your divorce your separation getting that settlement maybe uh, money was owed to you by an insurance company or by somebody else you know and there's something here where you are going to have to really tune into your own internal power, your own ability to manifest, to get this to go in your way. And when it comes to love here, you really have to understand that this person is not worthy of you. This person is not deserving of you. And it's about time that you put your foot down and stop letting them mistreat you, drag you along, play these games with you internally, because you deserve love. You deserve to live a very peaceful, happy life, a free life. And this is the, the week where you start making it happen. You start declaring that it's for you, that this is what you deserve and that this is what you seek and period hard stop, right? All right, Libra, I'm going to pop your monthly video here. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my mailing list, or take any of my courses, they're in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.